Hi, I'm Gabriel from uh, ARCHE and uh, I am here today to present you uh, the winner of the award Jane E. Bailey Award of 2015 and this is uh, Martin Fusenager that is just here. Uh, so hi Martin, I'm really happy that hi, you're, here. you're here today with us. So um, I would like to know a little bit more about what you will be talking in your lecture uh, during uh, your award ceremony. Well, the Jay Bailey Award is about uh, celebrating Jay Bailey, right? Yeah. Uh, Jay Bailey is famous for uh, being, having been one of the co-founders of metabolic engineering. So essentially, taking the genes to program whatever cell to achieve uh, at his time was bioprocess goals mainly. So I will take people to through the story what happened uh, ten years after. Jane passed away and how metabolic engineering has evolved, what we can do today. And today we can not only program single cells, we can program the metabolism of entire animals. Hopefully in the future we can program and treat diseases in uh, humans. And I will bring a few examples on where we're getting closer to uh, treating metabolic diseases using the principles of metabolic engineering established by Jay Bailey. This is great, and um, you told me recently, and you partly answered the question just here, that you were very emotional in receiving this award, right? So I wanted to know, uh, uh, what does receiving the Jay Bailey Award represent to you? Well, personally, Jay was uh, my mentor during my postdoc times. Uh, he's, he's mainly famous in the US, and he has his biggest footprint here, but uh, as uh, many people do not know, he moved over to Switzerland, to the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, and he grew up a new academic family over there, and I was proud and fortunate to be one of his last group leaders before he passed away, and uh, since 2001 we, we miss him. We miss him for his friendship, his mentorship, and how he has changed our lives. This and. What was really important is that uh, Jay brought me into academia when I started uh, postdoc uh, uh, in medical microbiology. I, I was eager to go into industry and uh, uh, was sending applications around to the industry. And uh, funny enough, Jay intercepted one and wrote me a very nice letter back to Max Planck where I started my first postdoc. Said, "We come over to Switzerland and." Uh, um, we talk about group leader opportunities at the ETH in Zurich and of course as a Swiss uh, I came back and talked to Jay and he convinced me that uh, uh, he said if you don't like academia, uh, try it for five years, you can always go to the industry. But uh, he convinced me and I stayed ever since in academia. This is really nice to uh, hear more insight about the award. <laughs> now we know a lot more. Um, I was wondering as well, if there was something that you would like to say to young engineer to uh, influence them and help them in their career, what would that be? Well, I would again uh, go back to, to how Jay did it, because that sets an example for an entire generation. And that is, first of all, always have fun in what you do, in your research. Second is, do always something useful, so that's the engineering aspect of it. Uh, solve the pertinent problems of this planet and try to do so. And Jay always gave his uh, people the, the idea that they are the only ones who can do that, right? So uh, this, is, this is also important. And then be always nice and work together as friends. And uh, that is the basis uh, for success. Good advice. Thank you so much for this interview. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.